application again paper one in previous versions i've done um uh, it's of course 1920 in previous i've done questions two and three so now i'm going to record question four point one first if this formula even right write down the the asymptotes of h determine the of h that there's a negative and sketch the graph of h showing the s intercept with the x now it is very important that you must recognize the type of i'm dealing with where there are ops or also there of course are your tabulars exponential graphs your high etc etc and you should recognize as your high Negative three is a three value, and negative three you are in the quadrant. If this was a positive, the graph would have been first and third quadrant. Then you must also remember that x minus one got a certain value. You must know it's very important, and then of course plus two also represents a value. So it's very important that. Down the equation of some totes of h. Now again, the uh, axes will are not intersect. Let's see. The asymptotes are x1 and y. Well, let's see. The equation all makes sense. This plus 2. So remember this value here. Stay as is. If it's a you know, S and is two linked to your x value, will then be your x asymptote, but with the opposite sign. Remember, so that, that is a negative one, then the asymptote will be a positive one. So just repeat. This one here doesn't change. It represents the asymptote. Because it represents the x node. The second question determines. Now, what the x, x of symmetry divides a graph or a body identical? Sketch quickly. It will lie there. Through this point, because remember now, the asymptote lines are the lines are the new. That means you must actually the, the uh, x of symmetry will run through the other way. So we want a line. Direction, this line is at an angle of 5 degrees. So remember that 10 of 45 is 1. So if you calculate it, any of the three formulas, I'm sure you want the second one comes from analytical. See, so the equation at x negative 3, negative x, because like I said, y. And of course, from uh, an analytical geometry method, is the same. So all the intersections. So when you see now x and y, of course, will be the dotted line. The dotted line will be the new y. Now remember, k the fourth quadrant. Draw the graph, but it's not supposed to touch the dotted line because the new S touch the old X there. Five. So what you do is to zero to this equation. And then you have five. And to this here, the X so uh, 
I'm just repeat here. You have to make to find this point here. X equals to y. Over two. Right. And this question. Question four point two. The following two graphs are given. So we should recognize this as the parabola because of the square. Of course, this is the special form where they have completed the square. So in this equation, you should be able to recognize the turning point. It will be this five with the opposite sign for x. So x will be negative five and y remains negative eight. Right. And of course, this one is a linear equation. So therefore, this should be a straight line. So it's a parabola and a straight line. So A is the turning point. There you are. A is the turning point. The X of symmetry of F intersect with X axis at E, as you can see there. And the line G goes to the point D, which is M and N. C is the intercept of F and X. So C is the point where the two graphs intersect. If you must write the coordinates of A, is already mentioned it. It comes straight from this here. So, A should be negative 5 for X and negative 8 for, for Y. It comes straight from this form. Right. There you are. So, A is negative 5 and negative 8. So, fill it in. So, it's negative 5 and negative 8. So, that is the value of A or the coordinates of A. Second question. Write down the range of f. Now remember now, range are values that lies in the y range. That is domain, that is in the x range, that is the range. So remember now, so it starts from the lowest y value, which is minus 8, and then up to infinity. That's how we know it. So therefore, the range then should be y ne greater or equals to negative 8. Or you can use this form, negative 8 square bracket, because you include the minus 8. Then, of course, infinity, round bracket, because we don't know where infinity is. So, therefore, we cannot include infinity. Then, 4.2.3, calculate the values of M and N. So, we must find the coordinates of M and N. Right. Now, already M, so D, E, and A share the same x value as you can see so therefore all three will have a negative 5 so already you know that m should be negative 5 right so that is of great help if you can see that so once you've done that so there you are m is negative 5 then to find n well you just substitute negative 5 into any of the two equations right you can either use this equation or you can use that one. Because remember, M is part, no, sorry, into the straight line. And D is on the straight line. So therefore, you're going to use that equation. So there you are. Put a negative 5 into the equation. And you get the other value, which is a 2. So therefore, M is mi minus 5 and a 2. Right. So there you are. Coordinates of M. Then the next question Calculate the area of OCDE. Now there's OCDE. O C D N E. If you have a good look, you'll notice this is definitely a very well known shape. A trapezium, of course, because those two lines are parallel, and that is the property of a trapezium. So if you have to find the area of a trapezium, then, of course, there's your trapezium. And this is the formula for a trapezium. A half times the sum of the two parallel sides times the distance between the two parallel sides. So, DE, we know, is 2 because it comes from the coordinates of D. Then, this 5 is the length of ED, the perpendicular distance between the two. And of course, four and a half is this point here, point C, where the two graphs intersect. So what you can do is, you can just use uh, 
we have a point there and a point there. So you can do the two equations simultaneously if you want. Right? So in other words, you take this equation equal to that one and do simultaneous equations and then you can solve for the value of C. And once you have C, you will discover it is 4 and a half. Then remove the brackets and you get the answer is 65 over 4 square units. Four point two point five. Determine the equation of g. Now, if you see something that's g to the power minus one, it means the inverse of g. And you must write in the form y equals to. But remember again, which graph is g? This is the graph of g, so it's a straight line graph. Now, what must you remember about inverses? What inverses means that x and y must exchange places. So g, the g of x is actually y. Then this y will become x and x becomes y, and then don't forget to make y the subject, because you must write it in that form. So let's do it then. So there you are. Replace x with y, and y with x. And then if you have to make y the subject, just multiply by 2 to get rid of the fractions, and there you are. There's the inverse of the graph of g. 4.2.6 if the h of x is equal to the inverse of g plus k. Remember you already done the inverse of g in the previous question. Plus k is a tangent to f. Now here's your key word. The moment you see the word tangent, you must think of a lot of things. And especially think in terms of calculus, where you know the, the derivative is the tangent. Determine the coordinates of the point of contact between h and f. Right, so let's see. So there is the given equation for the uh, parabola. Remove the brackets. Simplify and then find the derivative. Right? You still remember how to do derivative? Find the derivative. Now remember what is derivative? Derivative is gradient. Then you go to the h of x, remember the new equation that was the inverse, there's the inverse, plus k. Now this is a, a linear equation, it's a straight line equation, so whatever is in front of x is the gradient, isn't it? So therefore, the gradient is 2, and x plus 5 is also gradient, so therefore x plus 5 equals to 2, because they both represent gradient. And then you get x equals to negative 3. To get the y, substitute the minus 3 into this equation, use your calculator, and you will get the negative 6.